Okay, so this is some of your earlier stuff, right? Yes, I did this one. Well, this one first I was drawing in the car. We were coming back from biking in Wisconsin. So you drew this in the car? Yeah, I think I was eight or nine. His collection of work is extensive and impressive, considering he's only 11 years old. And so I drew, um, did like the fire and the smoke of the clouds. You did that with watercolor? Um, that I did with airbrush, and then the, this um, woodland caribou I did in the grass with um, watercolor. With an amazing eye, steady hand, and a real control of color, he even has a name fit for canvas. Skywaters started drawing when he was just five years old. Well, I didn't do a lot of coloring books because I kind of wanted to do it myself, so I started drawing. And I'd be looking for him sometimes, and where's Sky? And he's just drawing, and just silently drawing. He was doing three-point perspective in kindergarten, and his hunger for, um, for drawing and art was I, I, insatiable. Sky admits he's learned the most from his dad, an accomplished designer himself. Did a lot of it have to do with uh, watching your dad? Yeah, I saw my dad do a lot of art, and then I, saw, I wanted to do it with him, so we went on the bed and drew. I see a lot of myself in him, and yet I see that he has his own unique voice. I tried to really mentor him to help find what interests are, are good to him. If it's something he's interested in, um, then he's going to find passion in it. I do this one for my mom, and then there's this one that I drew also the same day for um, my sister. Sky is very giving with his artwork, not only to family, but to people and places that have inspired him in some way. A family trip to Deadwood, South Dakota left quite an impression on Skye after a stop at Kevin Costner's Tatanka, where more than a dozen bronze bison are on display. Dear Mr. Costner, my name is Skye. I'm eight years old and my family and I were visiting Tatanka this summer. And I Skye drew this picture for the Tourism Center and sent Kevin Costner this letter. We're watching you and feel the dreams. So I sent that and then he sent me this letter back. It says, a few days ago, we received your beautiful painting at Tatanka. We were thrilled to receive such a wonderful painting. Sky's watercolor called Tatanka is now on display for all who visit. I would just say the purity and simplicity, um, just seeing his desire and innocence at early age to just see things and say, why not? Why can't I do that? Why can't I send it to Kevin Costner? And you go, well, that's not going to happen. And then, then you go, well, maybe I can. It's the same year Sky started to put his love of cycling on paper. Yeah, that was when I was seven, I think, seven or six. It's my, like, my, one of my first um, paintings for biking. The same idea has come a long way in just a few years. Recently, he sent this picture to Lance Armstrong, hoping for an autograph back. I like him, but I see the change a lot of how much better I can get. Come a long way in a short amount of time, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sky has a love of a lot of sports, basketball being number one. Beyond being a great player himself, he has a photographic memory, so right after a play he'll see on TV, he won't waste any time putting it to paper. It's the same way Sky was able to capture another one of his sports idols, Brett Favre. This one, I wasn't, I just started doing watercolor, and here my dad showed me more techniques, how to do like the lighting on the helmet, so I got better on getting the shadows and mixing the colors to make it look more like skin. Yeah, this looks really realistic. He took a swing at baseball with this picture of Joe Maurer. He gave it to his third grade teacher as a gift. It also won several awards at both county and state fair competitions. I see in other people when they react to his art, it gives them a sense of joy. And see, I wanted to inspire people. I want to put a smile on their face. Uh, I want to, you know, give back. And just seeing that he's already doing that at age 11 is, is amazing to me. What is it that you like so much about drawing? Um, it's relaxing and you get to get your expressions and ideas out when you're drawing and you can just sit back and do whatever you want. Sky is in the fifth grade this year and you can easily see how far he's come in a very short time. His picture Silent Flight was inspired by a Minnesota music star, Adam Young, known as Owl City. Sky went to work after hearing a song Young calls Hot Air Balloon. 
Sky's picture was posted to Young's Facebook page, and thousands of people have showed their support. This one I just and recently, Sky piece. drew this woodland caribou for an endangered species entered, contest and using the um, airbrush the to get the color caribou. just right. So I wanted to show what makes it endangered. He admits but, um, it all like, takes time. When I was younger, I used to just like draw so much that it kind of just went super fast. But now I learned to take my time more and try to get it right. So yeah, it probably takes a, f a few days to get a full painting done. Sky hopes to be a designer or an artist when he grows up. Right now, he'll continue to help those around him realize their own potential. I just think it's important for kids to know that they can really inspire other people and that it's not always other people trying to inspire them, but by them doing what they're good at and trying and trying for things that, you know, finding a dream and trying even though it's difficult or they might not be the best at where they're at at the time that it's really inspiring to adults and people around them. So he will keep his head down, making the most of his gift while drawing his dream. What would you say to other kids who maybe, uh, you know, are young and have big dreams like, like you do? What would your advice be to them? Um, to always stick to it and never give up on your dream. For more information on Life to the Max, go to our website at lifetothemax.tv.